Okay, today we're going to take uh, we're going to do a, a couple of slides from the PowerPoint that we started yesterday. I want to kind of review to make sure that we know what we're doing here today. Um, so uh, we got to get the homework and stuff. But yes, we are going to get an assignment today. In fact, no. just to make sure that you know how to do it, um, we've already started most of the PowerPoint here. So today is kind of just a refresher on. Uh, some of the words and terminologies. We only have like three new words we have to go over today. And then we'll do a couple examples of types of problems that you're going to get in your homework and I'm going to turn you loose. Uh, now, I know some, some people are going to be finishing tests today. Uh, two gentlemen right here, correct? You guys are going to be finishing? Okay, so at some point today, uh, you guys haven't started, correct, or have you? We have. We have, okay, good. So, I'll just give you the test then. All right. Okay, let's, uh, let's go through a couple slides here. All right, so yesterday we talked about parallel and perpendicular. Really, this chapter, this section, is based on parallel. Um, and then the later sections are based on perpendicular, so hopefully that makes sense to you. Um, so let's go through a couple of uh, couple, uh, works here. Let's see. All right. All right, perfect. So goals today. Let's do a quick review of lines. Uh, these are these are lines right? they have arrows on them, they don't stop. The big thing about lines is that they can intersect, they can be parallel, they can be skewed. There's three types of uh, three types of what interactions or non-interactions. Now obviously this picture, all all three lines are actually intersecting, they're actually crossing. If they're parallel, they wouldn't touch. They'd be on the same plane, but they wouldn't cross each other. Uh, we looked at that yesterday. We looked at the pink arrows and stuff. And if they're skewed, they're in like three space. We'll see that a little bit later. But remember, uh, this uh, the same terminology. Um, planes could intersect or they could be parallel. We don't have skewed planes. That was one of the questions I had yesterday. Because if planes are skewed, they're eventually going to intersect at some point, right? So uh, planes like this, these two were in particular were parallel. That's what we talked about yesterday. And uh, we had the symbols. We talked about the actual like notation that we used for. Um, for a uh, parallel? Yeah, the test. Oh, yeah. Okay. Perfect. All right, let's take all you in right now. Uh, oh, right. Okay. I'll probably give you seven. Mm. All right. In particular, are parallel. How we know that? J, K, and L, M, because they had the little pink, purpley arrow thing that we talked about yesterday. And um, skew, there'd be three dimensional, right? So this, like, the idea is that this picture could have skew lines, not skew planes, but skew lines. Uh, lines that are skewed, they're on different planes. Like E, F here in the back, 
and AD, right? They're going different directions. One's going up and down, the other one's going side to side, and there's like a space between them. So if you think about three space, this is the idea, right? They're, you know, CD or AD's in the front, EF's in the back, and there's like a four inch gap between them, but they're going different directions. They're not going to intersect, but they're not parallel to them, they're not railroad tracks, okay? And we'll come back to that. And then we talked about angles, and that's where we finished yesterday. That's where I, that's where I want to pick up today. I want to pick up with the different types of angles. Okay, so let's go to that. So the words that we had yesterday for, for, uh, the, uh, for the angles, we had transversal, we had interior, exterior, we had the, the, the alternate angles. Um, we, I think we did one of them. We did the alternate interior yesterday, so I want to refresh your memory and have to do that. We have same side angles. Now, I, I said interior. There's actually two types. You'll see that. Um, we'll go through both types. So I just put interior here, but there's same side, interior, and exterior, and then the corresponding angles. The hard one about all these angles is actually the last one. That's the one that's probably the most difficult for people to like, wrap their head around uh, to know which one's which. And then the goal today is once we're through these, I want to come back to this picture. That's where I want to end today. I want to see, can we actually figure out like where these angles are at on that picture if I picked a couple lines? Okay, so that's what I want to do. Okay, does that make sense? What we're doing today? Because we did half of these yesterday, so let's do a quick recap. So, first of all, transversals. Remember, transversals, line radar segment that intersects two or more other lines. So, here's a transversal, it's passing through two other lines. Now, in fact, what we talked about yesterday is that every line on this picture is actually transversal. Like, even line R is actually transversal, because it hits line T, and eventually it will hit line Q. But for those, for the both purposes, they just talk about T itself. That that's the transversal, okay? All right, now, we talked about interior angles yesterday. There are angles on the inside. No, now, I know the book says this weird thing about horizontal. They don't have to be horizontal. They can be vertical lines, and you can still have interior angles. Because you think of, like, whatever the two lines are, the ones that look somewhat parallel, okay? Whatever those angles, those uh, lines are. The angles that are interior are the ones squeezed in between. It's like a sandwich, the interior of the sandwich. Okay? So like on this particular picture, these are, the, these are the, the lines that they're talking about, these two, Q and R. These are the interior, okay, because they're, they're squeezed on the inside, okay, they're squeezed between the bread, right? Now these angles wouldn't be possible without the transversal, that's what we talked about yesterday. Without that line going down to the middle, we wouldn't make three, four, five, and six. Because again, remember, these are the angles. Now the goal throughout chapter three is to talk about there is a weird quirky relationship between these. Like if I give you one of them, you could find the others if the lines are parallel. That's what we talked about. Okay? All right, questions. Perfect. All right, exterior angles. We talked about that one yesterday, the same picture. There are angles on the outside, and they said horizontal. It doesn't really have to be horizontal. But the idea is that you have your two lines, right? And um, so these are the two lines in question. This is the transversal. The exterior are the ones on the outside of the sandwich. So not in between the two pieces of bread. And again, we talked about yesterday that they could be drawn first, but it doesn't really have to be horizontal. Okay? So angles, in this case, 1, 2, 7, 8. Okay, questions with exterior? Perfect. Okay. Um, now, alternate, this is where we ended yesterday. We, we stopped here. So this is going to be the new part today. Alternate angles. Alternate angles are on the alternate sides of the transversal. Now, we got very, very specific with these. There was actually two types of angles, okay, and this is the picture we used yesterday, okay. So the two types of angles. Number one, there's uh, there's alternate interior. That's what we covered yesterday, and I just kind of wrote it on the board, right? Alternate interior. They have to be interior angles, okay. So which ones are interior on this picture? Two, three, six, seven. Yeah, two, three, six, and seven. Yeah. They have to be alternating sides of the transversal. The transversal is this line. So what I mean by alternating, one has to be top, one has to be bottom, that's alternating on this particular picture, top and bottom. And then they can't be next to each other. So like I can't pick two and six, because they're literally touching. So what would be a pair that would be, one, two. say it again? One, two. No, 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 no. that would be interior. Two, seven, four. Cool. There you go, two and seven, oh, six. Six. and yeah, two six. I, yeah, I like the guesses four. though. Okay, so again, like I said, I heard three and six, or two and seven, okay? Those are alternate interior. They're not next to each other, um, and they're interior and they're across. One's on the one's on the opposite side of the transversal. Now, this picture, if you turn your head sideways, 
you could have the lines being horizontal, and it would still work two and seven, three and six, because they're on the opposite sides of the transversal. Um, but the, what we're going to talk about in this chapter three, that there's a weird relationship between these. Like if you have one, you can claim the others. Especially if the lines are parallel. Okay? All right, we're good about the ultimate interior. That was the one we did yesterday. They're not next to each other. So you, even though we're picking interior, you can't pick two and six. They have to be across from each other diagonal. That's how I think of the ultimates. Now, the other one that we didn't get to yesterday, the new one, was alternate exterior. Right? Alternate exterior is they're on the outsides now. Exterior. So what are the exterior angles on this picture? One, one and eight. eight four, five. Five. Exactly. In fact, you gave me the right pairs. One and eight and five and four. Right? Those are the alternate exterior angles. These. Five and four. They're alternate exterior. They're on the exterior and they're alternating sides. And they're not touching each other. So one and eight. Does that make sense with alternates? How they work? How they're diagonal from each other? So again, the bottom pair are alternate exterior, the top pair are alternate interior. The hard part about alternates is that there's three parts to it. They have to be alternating sides of the transversal, they either have to be interior or exterior, whatever they, they say, and then they cannot be adjacent to each other. They have to be what they call non-adjacent, not next to each other. Okay, we good? Excuse me. <laughs> okay, we're good then? All right, perfect. Uh, let's move on to the next type. So this is, now, obviously this was a new one today. The next ones are the are the same side angles. Okay, so let's do the, um, et cetera, et cetera. Um, let's do the same side interior first. Because I, I, I put that on the slide earlier. There's two types. We'll do interior first, then we'll do exterior. These are same side now, not alternate. Same side. So the definition, they have to be on the same side of the transversal, and they have to be interior angles. So I'm going to give you that similar picture I showed you earlier. So which ones are the interior just for right now? Six, seven. Six? Six, seven, two, three. Good. Those are the actual pairs. So the angles on the inside are two and three, six and seven. Well, the pairs you actually said are the correct ones for this particular problem. That, that you're actually picking, they're on the same side of the transversal, and their interior, right? So the, the pairs you said, two and three, six and seven, those are your pairs of same side. They're not alternating, they're same side. There is a weird relationship between these, like these pairs, that we'll eventually see in chapter three. It's like the, I think the third or fourth section, we start to look at like the properties about them. We'll actually probably, maybe we'll get those like the week after Thanksgiving, like when we get back. Probably see that section where we did those properties. Wait, is it a, is one sixty? Yeah, it could be. How long is our Thanksgiving late? Uh, is we go. I think we're what? We get out early Wednesday and then we're back. I thought we got out early Monday. Tuesday. Oh, it's Tuesday. Is it Tuesday? Yeah. Yeah, early uh -huh. Tuesday. Have no school Wednesday. Yeah. Wednesday, Thursday, right. Friday, nice. Sunday, Good. Monday. Good. Monday. Awesome. Don't come to school with me. No, okay. All right. There you go. I didn't know. Okay. I just thought Wednesday. So that's what they've done every year. Awesome. All right, here we go. Um, same side exterior now. Same thing. So they're on the same side, but now they're exterior angles. So on this particular problem, right, angles on the same side of the transversal, but they're on the exterior. So here's my picture. So just what are the exterior angles in the picture? One, four, five, six. One, four, five, and eight. In fact, the angles you just picked are the correct pairs. So same side, so they're on the same side of the transversal, so either top or bottom half. And they're exterior, so one and four, that, that first pair you picked. Um, oh, that isn't right. Ignore that. Um, one and four for same side interior. Oh, I need to fix that on my slide. One and four, and then five and eight. These are the pairs. Ignore the, the ones that, that I'm about to show you. Okay? So, five and eight, one and four, those are same side exterior. Questions on that one? Now I'm going to give you a little bit of time here to write that down if you haven't. I need to fix that slide too before I move on. That'll bug me all day if I don't. Thank you. 
All right. So um, again, um, the pairs here, if they're the same side exterior, 5 and 8, 1 and 4. Okay, we good so far? All right, let's move on. This is the last one. For some reason, this is the hardest one for people to wrap their head around, especially when I give you random pictures. Not, not the same picture every time, but when I switch the picture up. Okay, so corresponding, there's a couple different definitions you're gonna want here, okay? All right, number one, for corresponding. Okay, the angles have to be on the same side of the transversal, so it's kinda like same side interiors into the exterior. But, now here's the weird stipulation to be corresponding. So, so, same side of the transversal, they cannot be adjacent to each other, and one has to be interior, one has to be exterior. So let me go through that again. So they're on the same side of the transversal, so either top or bottom, or right and left, it's the transversal going up and down. One's inside, one's outside of the sandwich, and they cannot be next to each other. They can't be side by side. For some reason, this is the hardest one for people to think about, because there's too many rules. Okay, nope. Okay. Nope. Alright, so here's the idea. First rule, they have to be on the same side of the transversal. So if I'm going to pick, so let's, yeah, so let's, let's pick like top half only. Same side of the transversal, right? Now, the pairs I'm looking for. One has to be interior, one has to be exterior. So somebody just pick an interior. Three. 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 Okay, we're going to pick three. Now, when we pick three, we have to pick the other one that's exterior, but it can't be next to three. So what's the one that's on the same side? So it's got to be one of these four numbers. Oh, one. One. Yeah, it has to be one. They, they are on the same side of the transversal. One's interior, one's exterior, and they're not side by side. So you can't pick three and four. I know three and four are interior and exterior, but they're side by side. They have to be non-adjacent to each other, so one and three. Now, what's another pair? Two and four. Two and four. Or, if you went to the bottom half, because I know a lot of you are trying to say the number five, it'd be five and seven, or six or eight. Those are your pairs, right? One's interior, <coughs> one's exterior. They're not next to each other, and they're on the same side of the transversal. Now, if I switch this picture up, and this is what really messes me up, bless you, I'll uh, say 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, just kind of putting random numbers down. I want a pair of corresponding. Same thing we just talked about. So the mesh could be one. 15, 11. 15, 11, perfect. 15 and 11. One's interior, one's exterior. They're on the same side, and they're not next to each other. That was perfect. What's another one? 10 and 14. 10 and 14? Good. This one and that one. One's interior, one's exterior. Tinker, give me one. 16 and 13. 16 and 13. Perfect. That one? That one. And then the other pair that I didn't mark. Yeah, 12 and 17, right? So the idea is that one's inside, one's outside. I don't know why this one just messes with people all the time. Like the homework when I've checked from previous years of teaching this, this only this one is a train wreck for people. I don't know why. It's just I think they just get messed up. Like they always they always kind of mix and match. They always think alternate or they think like, they just have to be both interior now. That's why I have the, all these categories. This is the only one that mixes them together, like interior and exterior. It's the only one that mixes them. Okay. All right. Now, we're going to have homework today. Um, now, I want to go back to that really difficult looking picture, right? So, blah, 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 blah. All right. So, now the angles, remember. The big thing about this, they, we're grouping angles together, that's what we're doing here, right? We're trying to find angles that match or go together, and we're finding specific ones to identify, right? So here's the idea. If I go back to the really complicated picture, this one, I want to know the certain pieces for this picture, these. Thanks, sir. All right, so I want to know the certain, certain types of angles for this picture. Now, the problem is we can't just rattle them off right away because we need to know which lines to pick. If you don't know which lines they're picking, there's too many options. So uh, let's pick two lines here. Let's go with line, let's go with line um, T and V. These are gonna be my lines I'm looking at. So those are my like somewhat parallel looking lines. They're gonna eventually intersect. But those are the lines that are horizontal, right? 
Um, and let's pick the transversal as this one. This is going to be my transversal. Because it's going through both of them, correct? Transversal, there we go. Do we agree that S goes through both of them? So it is a transversal, okay? From this side over here, so again, ignoring these, because I don't care about line R, so I'm looking at those only. Can somebody give me a pair of interior angles? I don't care which pair, okay? Fred, give me a pair. Interior on. On F? Um, yeah, so it's got to be on line S. So that's my transversal. Three, three, six, and nine. There you go. That's interior. Now let's talk about why. Oh, why do you say Why do you say these? Because they're interior. Yeah, they're inside the sandwich, right? So I'm looking at T and V. Those are interior. Okay, and S is the transversal going through it. Okay. So we give me a pair of exterior. Fred, give me the exterior now. Three and. Three, four. There you go. Those are exteriors. Does that make sense for that picture? Those are the outside. Um, can somebody give me alternate exterior? Now we're going to jump. Alternate exterior. So we're alternating, but we're exterior. Okay. Let's go with uh, heck no. What do you got? 11 and 4. 11 and 4. Perfect. Alternate exterior. Right? So they have to be exterior angles. 11 and 4. That was perfect. They're not even touching each other. They're on the opposite side of the transversal. That's really tough to see that. Yeah, okay, that's good. Can somebody give me same side interior? Okay. England, what do you got? Six and nine. Six and nine. Okay, these are same side interior. Right? Six and nine. Mm -hmm. um, now, the dreaded one. Corresponding. Mitch, what do you got? Eight and three. Eight and three. Okay. This is the, I don't know why, that just really messed with people. Now, here's the goofy thing, right? This picture's complicated. If I suddenly switched up which lines I want you to look at, Maybe I want to use these lines now, and this is the transversal, so I'm going to ignore all these down here. Now we're going side to side, same thing. So, so now we're using this grouping up here. I want interior angles, okay? Take your way out. Two and three, okay? Uh, somebody give me alternate interior for that one, okay? Mitch? Five and three. Five and three. Corresponding. Hagemeller? Two and four. Two and four. Can somebody give me another corresponding? Powers? One yeah. and three. What's the city? One and three. One and three. Okay. So do we get kind of a feeling for how this works? So we have alternates, we have the same size, we have corresponding. The corresponding, I think, are the most difficult. But what's really weird about this picture? Way too much stuff going on. There's pairs everywhere. Because I can go up and down. I can go side to side, I can go up and down, I can go side to side this way. There's not too many pairs here. So I, mean, I could go maybe same, same side exterior, or maybe corresponding, or alternate interior, or same side interior. There's not really that many pairs down on the bottom line because there's not very many angles. But you know, I can make certain pairs here. Your homework will ask you to do that. They're going to give you a picture, maybe something like this, like this half only, and they'll ask you, okay, name a pair of same side interior. Name a pair of alternate exteriors, and they want you to write down the numbers, just like the digits, right? So don't, um, so don't sweat that. Now, there's a couple things that they'll ask. They'll give you pictures like this and say, "Hey, line R and S, are they intersecting, parallel, or skew?" So what do you, what do you think about R and S? Intersecting. Yeah, they're eventually going to intersect. Even though that doesn't show it, they will because the arrows kind of pointing at each other. Um, in fact, there's no parallel lines here. They don't have a little pink arrow thing, so it kind of gives it away. So, okay. Have, have a pretty good understanding what we're doing here? Okay. Here's what I'd like to write down today. Okay, it's page 175. It's pulled over to the next page. Some people always have a problem, like, you have to flip a page in a book. Oh my god. Like, it goes to the next page over. Uh, it's 1 through 3, 5 through 8. Then 9 through 12, 14 through 20, the evens on that part, and then the 21 through 29 odds. This homework should not take you very long. They're going to ask you very specific questions. Some of these questions in the middle, like here, this even part, super open-ended. Like what I mean, like they're going to give you a picture and say, hey, just name two segments, two lines that are actually parallel. There could be 15 of them on the picture. You just had to name two of them that are parallel. Or give me two that are skew. Now, when you name lines, remember, give me two letters, 
barrows above it. If you name planes, maybe they want two planes that are parallel. You have to give me like the plane and maybe three letters after it, or plane with the cursive letter. So be careful of that. Okay, but most of these problems I'm giving you here are the angle stuff that we were just working on. And it seems like some of you have a pretty good handle on this, which I'm pretty proud of that. So that's not easy, especially some of those angles. There's a lot of different categories here. Okay, this is due Friday this week, so you have a couple days to work on this. I will give you time tomorrow to work on it, because I know we have like, what, five minutes left to class here. So. But you have some time. Um, book checks. Um, I know some of you probably don't have your book today. Um, let's let's plan out tomorrow for you guys. Book check tomorrow. Uh, I just want to see. Um, you need to have your physical book with you. Um, this. I need the book. Or sorry, I just closed it off. Uh, but you need a physical book with you tomorrow with a book cover on it. Because I'm going to check your book numbers again. So, sorry. Just close that. Yes, I have. All right. There you go. Yeah.